Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about front-end engineers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why are front-end engineers in such short supply? Well, I would suspect that it depends on the fact that front-end engineering or working as a front-end developer at least in the sense that what of in the definition that we're using these days hasn't been around all that long it's not like uh, it's not been well I it, it, it mean UI work has been ex been around for quite some time but the way that we hire front-end developers today where the focus is mostly on JavaScript and working with SBAs and all the surrounding tooling that's not been around all that long it's there's been quite a bit of a I would say at the very least an explosion in the JavaScript community in the past say 5 10 15 years or something like that uh, so it's gone from where where it used to be at the very least the case that uh, the UI was something that either was designed by a UI designer of some sort or a web designer and then we kind of went over to that well we have mostly back-end developers who know some jQuery and they did some stuff right and they kind of made things work and we progressed even further now where now the complexity of building UI uh, applications yeah, has reached a point where we feel that well we probably need someone who is a, who is better at this thing or more focused on dealing with this thing but I don't know whether or not I mean I don't think it's exclusive that there's a short supply I like give there's a short supply of developers or at the very least good developers in general I would say I don't think that that's necessarily exclusive to front-end developers it might be a regional thing but uh, from my perspective at least if I look at the quantity of people that I mean this is very subjective of course of course because it's basically just based on what I see there's a lot of front-end developers there's a lot of people who get into front-end development a lot of people who learn these sorts of things and I believe well here comes the distinction that I like that I have to make there's a difference between there being a lot of say front-end developers and a lot of good front-end developers that's the distinction but that's true for any developer there's a lot of quote-unquote developers but there's not that many good ones that's the thing that is in short supply and that's the bar that you need to pass in order to be able to work as a professional it's really really easy today to go and learn how to be a developer uh, it just depends like whether or not you're considered a professional mostly depends on if you reach that level which is required in order to actually do the sort of work that most of the people working in different IT companies are doing and that level most people never reach or well I wouldn't say most people people but I, if you look at the quantity of people who are learning or uh, like know how to write some code versus the quantity of people who are actually working in the industry and the deficit that exists uh, it's these numbers are fairly telling because the deficit is enormous and the un unemployment rate of developers professional grade software developers is practically non-existent so for me I I'm not sure I agree that there's a deficit of front-end developers well unless we if we're gonna be very picky about the term as I said if we're talking about professional grade front-end developers yes there's a definitely a deficit of those because frankly put most front-end developers they simply don't know what is needed in order to survive in the industry so they don't actually make it into the industry you uh, I mean everybody has the ability if you have the ability to learn the basics you should you know it's possible for you to get there it's more about that people don't uh, don't understand how much work it uh, is actually in entailed in becoming a professional software developer so most people go in with the mindset that oh I, I'm gonna take this course here about CSS HTML and some JavaScript and I'm gonna learn how to make some basic static websites or maybe I'll learn a little bit of react use create react app and learn how to make some 
very basic UI and now I'm going to try to be a professional. It's not going to work that way. It's it, Usually it requires more investment than that. But uh, there's, from my perspective, there's actually a surplus. There's a lot of front-end developers and I believe that that is because it's usually more accessible to people to come into development from the UI level. I mean, you have die-hard engineer types of people also that really just are about the code and traditional back-end development. But for a lot of people, it feels a lot more accessible to deal with CSS, JavaScript, uh, and HTML. It's a visual element. It's something that feels more approachable, at least from what I can see. So what I want you to take away from this is that I believe that there's a deficit of good front-end developers and the reason is very simple because we haven't been doing the sort of front-end developer type of work that we're doing these days for all that long. It's not something, I mean you can't really go to, well you, you can start to go to school and so forth but the norm within computer science and the academic world has always been very focused on back-end work and algorithmic think thinking and so forth. We haven't really started taking front-end development to the same sort of level because it's been primarily something that has been in the design space and now we're kind of cr we're kind of crossing over where we're getting to a point where there's a need for the design perspective but also the coding perspective because the applications are getting more complicated and therefore there's not that many really good uh, is front-end developers. There is on the other hand a lot of people who know how to do front-end development but not usually not at the level that most companies are looking for in order for them to feel comfortable hiring that individual and I think that that has mostly to do with that visual work such as with UI work is feels more accessible uh, to a lot of people than hardcore Algorithm, uh, algorithms and coding. That's just what I've seen at the very least. Have a great day.